The Seychelles Islands, a tropical paradise where everyone wants to go, but is it really worth visiting? I'm gonna give you an answer to that question in this travel vlog. And besides that, we will go on a road trip to see the complete island of Mahe, or after we take a plane to another island named Praslin. There we will do an amazing boat trip, go snorkeling, and explore the island of Ladik by bike, which you are going to love. We visit the most famous beaches like Port Launi, Ons Takamaka, Ons Intendance, Police Bay, Ons Royale, Côte d'Or, Ons Goyette, Ons Sours d'Argent, and many more. During this vlog, I will give you a bunch of tips to make sure your time on these islands will be perfect. So, are you ready? Let's start the vlog. The first hills of the Mahe Island are already visible. It's a real remote island group consisting of 115 small islands. We're flying into the main island of Seychelles to Victoria, the capital city of the country. Here's a fun fact for you. Seychelles is over 99% water. Crazy, right? Guys, we have arrived! Yeah. Yay! I'm just very hot. Your hair looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I already took off my sweater. <laughs> I'm walking in my t-shirt now. We're walking uh, to customs. So let's pray for the best. And then, do we have a pickup or do we... Oh no, we have a car! We have a car! Awesome. So, this is our car for today. Kia Picanto. It's a small one and that has a, a lot of benefits, you know, you can always find a parking. Plus it is nice for the narrow roads here in the island, the narrow streets. It's perfect. It's yellow, it fits the environment here, so let's go. The island vibe is real. I feel like I'm in an episode of Rocket Power, for the ones that remember that series. <laughs> We're in the car and we're on our way! Yes! Woohoo! We have some island music radio station that we found. We're like in a remote island in the middle of the sea now, so this is the perfect tune. Salo's driving. On the left side of the road. Crazy. The French had this island first and then the British came, took over. Yeah, but they still talk French and also English here. So yeah, we're driving, it's 20 minutes to our hotel. I'm sure we're gonna enjoy the ride. The palm trees are beautiful and everywhere you look you see plants. This island is very green. Oh look, we have arrived at our resort, nice. We are here checking in and literally the first people that I hear are Dutch. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh gosh. We have dropped our bags and took a quick shower to fresh up and now we're gonna explore the resort a little bit so we will know our way around. The property is beautiful. Look at this pool, wow. We have arrived and we are exploring the property. It's huge and there are many kids, <laughs> but it's okay. We are literally next to the beach. We can see it already there. This is perfect, it's really an island beach. It's impressive. I like it. <laughs> it's good. It's a great vibe here on the beach. The water is very nice and warm. Everyone is having a good time. It feels like there's a lot of Latinas, like Latin families, you know, all together at the beach and the singing and dancing music. It's so nice. Well, obviously they're not Latin families, but it just gives me the feeling of Latin families, you know? It also happens in Barcelona and in Colombia where I was. It's just amazing. The sun is out, it's not raining. We thought it was gonna rain, but it's not. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's a really good first impression. And this is the spa area, adults only. Oh, nice! Cheers! Mm. Delicious. What a views. Wow. 
No words. Delicious. Cheers, guys. Beautiful sunset. This is a very big bat. It's literally just a bird in the sky, honestly, but they're bats. They're huge. All right, guys, we went to the spa. We went to the pool. We saw bats that were so big. Like, I've never seen bats so big. Flare mouse. It's crazy. This is like from the real Batman movie, Lolo. Crazy. Anyways, freshly showered. So I'm showering right now. And then after that, we're gonna dress up and we go down to the restaurant because we're gonna have dinner here tonight. And we saw the sunset on the beach, which was beautiful. So it's an amazing resort. This is gonna be amazing the upcoming four days we're here. So, perfect. Okay. It locks? Yeah. Oh, good. On our way to the restaurant. Wow, delicious. Right at the beach. Good night. Good morning. It is eight o'clock in the morning and I am on my way to the gym. I'm gonna work out. I haven't worked out in I think two months or something. It's a beautiful day. It is still hot. It's 25 degrees. It's a bit cloudy. They say it's gonna rain today. So we're gonna have another chill day here in the resort. And tomorrow we're gonna go to all the beaches. But for now, I'm gonna just work out and then afterwards I'll grab breakfast with Salo. I think today is gonna be a great day. The hotel itself is beautiful, the service is stupid. We did laundry and we had just a little bag of laundry and we paid 95 euros. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. The gym is not so big, but I could find some machines I also use at home. I haven't worked out in around two months, so I'll be in much pain the upcoming days, I think. <laughs> Alright guys, workout is done. I'm so burned, look at that. Oh gosh. And now I'm going to the spa to um, the steam room a little bit, take a shower and then go for breakfast. Well, even though the servers of this hotel might be a joke, they definitely know how to serve a proper breakfast. Look at this. Tables full of fruit, meat, cheese, salads, bread, and even donuts. Well, this is it. Delicious. But it's a rainy day today. Rain in paradise. That also happens. At least I had a great workout. Bon appetit. The benefit of the rain, there's no one at the pool. And I'm not so bothered by the rain, to be honest, because the temperature is still good. But when it stopped raining, we got ourselves two laying chairs at the beach. We made a new friend. Everything okay, Rosa? There yeah, she is. You. If you need anything, you let me know. Okay, perfect. So cute. She just laid down under my chair. Oh. Hello, my friend. Hello. Oh, what a cutie. It's a gecko. From the gecko family. How cute. Oh. I called him Gekki, and Gekki was chilling with me for around 30 minutes before I put him back on a nice tree. The animals kept coming to me, the dog as well. Hopefully those bats stay far away though. Oh, look who I found on the way. Look at him chilling there. These are huge, wow. Such a small cage though. It's kind of sad. Oh. The night has fallen and we have chilled at the beach until the sunset. Now we're gonna have some dinner and go to bed straight afterwards because tomorrow we have a very exciting day. Nice barbecue ribs on Seychelles. Delicioso. Mmm, look at Salo. Good morning. Today we are gonna take the car and we're gonna drive to a lot of beaches here on this beautiful island. So come with me. We're gonna go down for breakfast now first and then we'll be on our way. We quickly had breakfast because we don't want to waste any more time. We are too excited for this road trip. All right, we are off. Here we go. We are on the main island of Seychelles, Mahe, and we're going to a few of the most famous beaches and I'll show them all to you. This is the route we're gonna follow, the wide line around the whole island. So let's see if the Seychelles are really that beautiful or that influencers are just romanticizing a bit. Up until now, I am in love with this island and I cannot wait to see more. From insanely clear waters to green forest. I think Seychelles seem to have it all. Right now I'm at this point where I don't really want to get out of the car. I'm really enjoying the forest and the views over the sea so much. We are arriving at the first beach now. Let's see. My expectations are pretty high, I must say.
There's the beach. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I think it's gonna look amazing. We drove for around 40 minutes, beautiful landscapes and plants, and it was amazing through the mountains. I'm actually sad that it's over, but we have the whole day to drive, so I'm happy about that. We arrived at our first beach. I have to tell you, it looks amazingly beautiful. Okay, let's follow Saulo. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that water. It's crazy. Beautiful. This goes beyond my expectations. What a beautiful place is this. It's quiet and the weather is perfect. Not too hot and not too windy. This is the bus station. Time to leave because we have multiple other beaches on our to-do list for today. Guys, look at this. How beautiful. Is this island worth visiting? My answer will be a big fat yes, definitely. Wait until you see the next beach we're arriving to. <laughs> wow. This beach is completely different from the other ones we've seen so far. There is just a little layer of water, so it almost looks like the sand is just wet and there's not really any water at all. But of course, if you look in the distance, you see that this is the sea. Alright, time to go back to the car. Salo is used to drive on the left side of the road because he lives in New Zealand. I'm very happy he wants to drive all the time, because then I can enjoy the views even better. And to put the cherry on the cake, we obviously have to play some Lady Gaga on this road trip. Alright, next beach, another one that's looking so beautiful. Here the workers live from the construction. It's kind of sad. There are a lot of Indian people here working in the construction everywhere, all the resorts that are being built, and they sleep here in these lodges kind of a thing. Yeah, very small, kind of dirty, and not very well maintained, but I guess you, you'll find it everywhere, right? That's the bad side. A paradise also has a bad side. Crocodiles. You can't swim here, maybe because of the crocodiles. We're gonna try to find a beach. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. We've already stopped at three beaches. They were all beautiful. Now we're walking to Anse Antendance, something like that. It's all French here. It's one of the most famous beaches where they say you have to go. It's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. So we are just 20 feet away. Let's see. I can already see the sea there. Look at this, how amazing this is, guys. Wow. Yes, this beach is so beautiful and it is not crowded at all. I think this is definitely one of the best beaches I've been to in my life. And of course, I had to try the water. A 
After spending a good hour here on the beach, we walk back to our car to continue our road trip. We're heading to another famous beach, Police Bay. And it's actually very close, just a 13 minute drive. Okay guys, now it's time to walk to the Police Bay Beach. We parked the car a little bit up the hill there and we're walking along the sea and it is so beautiful. There's so many palm trees here and palm trees are my favorite trees. In Tyrona Park in Colombia, I also have a travel vlog about that place. You had also a park full, full of palm trees. It was the most beautiful thing ever. But this is gonna be even more beautiful than that place, I'm gonna tell you. This is meant to be one of the most beautiful beaches of Seychelles. Oh, this is so cool. This path walk is in the middle of nowhere, in the jungle. The hill. The hill. Wow. We're getting there, almost there. Hold on, hang on. And it's good temperature too. Ooh, I think it's like 25, 27. It's not humid. Well, it's kind of humid, but I'm okay with it. I feel like I'm in Expedition Robinson. It's a Dutch TV show. And they have to survive on an island like this. And it really looks like this. This is just wild palm trees. Wow. Here we are, Police Bay. It's a sea turtle's nesting site. Let's see if we can find some. It's right there, guys. Right there. Where is everyone? Wow, this is beautiful. We're the only ones on this beach. There's no one. How is that possible? There's so many tourists on this whole island. This is one of the most famous beaches. And there's no one. <laughs> it's just us with water. Fiesta. Well, that's nice. The current is very strong and the waves are very high. So I don't think we're going to try the water now. I guess we'll just be looking at it. My hair is doing crazy things. Wow, crazy. <laughs> well, I'm a bit disappointed with this beach, to be honest. The one we were just now, I don't know the name, but I'll put it down in the, in the video and in the description as well. It's way more beautiful, honestly. This is super beautiful, don't get me wrong, but the other one where we just were does not have this strong current. We cannot really go in the water because the current is way too strong. It's too dangerous, right? They have signs everywhere, like swimming at your own risk and stuff, so. Salo is now just watching the waves, a little bit close up, but um, no, we're not going in for a swim here. It is beautiful, we're the only ones, but I think that is the reason why we are the only ones. You know, the, the current is just too strong. These waves are huge, but it's, it's a little bit too dangerous. I'm pretty hungry, so we're gonna go take the car around the island towards the airport and then drive back home. We kind of miss the north part of the island, but I'm gonna see and ask Salo if we can maybe drive around a little bit to still see some of the northern part of the island because that's also beautiful, I'm telling you. But as far as this beach, it's really nice, but the current is very strong, so I'll advise you to go to the beach that I've shown previously. All right, now it's time to have some food. They love their fast food here. Fish and chips, and he got prawns and chips. Nice, delicious. I think it's been 10 years, honestly, since I've had fish and chips in London. I had it with my mom and my sister and my brother. So I'm very curious, actually. It looks good. Fried, fried fish. <laughs> Fresh fish from the sea right here. Well, wow. Oh, nice. How are your shrimps? They're good. Nice. This place was reviewed a 4.9 on Google Maps, and yeah, the food was really good. Now we're driving towards another famous beach to make a quick stop. This little yellow monster is bringing us everywhere. Amazing. This is Anse Royale. Also beautiful, but a bit more rocky. You don't see it now though, but the closer we get to the airport, the more traffic appears on the streets. And that's probably because all the tours are finished at 4 o'clock. So, and it's 4.45 now, so everyone is driving home, you know, from all the, all the sides. We're driving towards the airport, so 
I think a lot of people also work there. Maybe the people on this island work until four instead of five. That could be nice. An island schedule. Amazing. This is Victoria, the capital of Seychelles. Doesn't it look cute? Well, there's another traffic jam that's not so cute. We had an hour delay due to traffic around the airport, but now we're making our way to the northern part of the island. We have to drive a little bit faster though, because we want to see the sunset from the beach in front of our hotel. Hopefully we will be in time. The roads on these islands are not so wide, and they don't have lights that go on at night. So you can imagine, we want to be in our hotel before dark, because otherwise you can literally see nothing. Well, we're almost arriving, and I'm gonna tell you, the sunsets are gonna be amazing. Listen to this. We're freshly showered back at the hotel, and we're walking to the beach right now because we wanna see the sunset. We don't wanna miss it this time. Hopefully, we're gonna get an amazing sunset. Yesterday was nice though, but today is gonna be better, I'm sure. And I brought my 0, 0.0 beer. They also have it here. And it's just one euro per bottle. It's super cheap compared to all the other drinks that you can buy in the store. Well, it's just two minutes. We'll be there. Mmm. It tastes just like regular beer, honestly. Oh, guys, we just missed it. Literally just missed it. But it's still beautiful. Wow. Cheers, Salo. Cheers. To a great day yeah, of beach hopping. It's so beautiful. And do you remember these? They're all over the place. They're huge. It has been an amazing day. We spent our last hour at the beach. Let's see what tomorrow is gonna bring us. Good morning! This is the last day on the main island, on Mahe Island. We just had breakfast and we're walking back to the rooms to collect our bags. We're taking a small plane, I'm pretty nervous for it, to one of the nearest islands here. It's a beautiful small little island. We stay over there at the hotel also tonight. And we're having a boat tour plan today. So I'm gonna show you some beautiful turtles and amazing fishes and whatnot. So come with me today, let's go! We hopped in the car and drove to the airport. It was very early in the morning, so we could enjoy a bit of the sunrise. We parked our car and walked to the gate. Okay, here we are, Seychelles International Airport, and I already see the plane we're gonna fly with. And I don't really like it. Because the plane was so small and it did not have any cabin attendants, they showed the safety instructions on a display at the gate. And then it was time to board the small plane with two propellers. I was very scared to be honest. Okay guys, my nightmare has come true. In a plane where I can literally touch the ceiling. <laughs> and Salo is having a good time because he likes me stressing out over these small little things. But this is literally the first time in, in a small, small plane like this. You know, in Africa it was a small plane, but not as small as this one. This is our live fast because there wasn't any room. We are literally in the cockpit. Like, what's going on? Okay, 15 minutes flight only on 3,000 feet, so oh gosh, the propellers are starting their engines. flying over the sea with the most blue water I've ever seen in my life and those islands were so beautiful. We are landing now and it goes very fast like we're landing very quickly you know like oh my god. <laughs> I think this is even scarier than taking off. I was actually fine in the air to be honest. And we're here safe and sound. So now 
let's find a taxi, go to the hotel, drop off our luggage, and then we'll be on our way to the boat tour to discover beautiful islands. And go snorkeling a little bit too. So now we're gonna go to the taxis, drop off our stuff at the hotel, and then go on a boat tour. It was an hour drive to our resort, and we passed through so many different types of ecosystems. We saw jungle, coastline, city, and lakes. It was 8 a.m. now, and the guys from the boat tour are picking us up at around 8.45. Hopefully our room is ready so we can quickly change and put on our swim shorts. Ah, this is it. This is our resort for the night. We're here. Awesome. This resort is so beautiful and the people are very friendly. Oh, the service was okay. Nice. Not, not like Thank yeah. you. <laughs> this is a lemongrass drink. Thank you. Thank you. It's like Tanzania, Africa. Everywhere we came, they gave us these towels, these baby towels, and the juice. And in the Savoy, nothing like that. So now, <laughs> we love it. Yeah, cheers. Nice juice. It's like cold limoncello. There's no one. That's why I'm saying maybe the room is ready. Maybe they give Because if they're not full, maybe they, they have, an maybe they give us an upgrade. I mean, the surface is perfect Basically. here already. I guess it's our lucky day today because our room was indeed ready and they gave us one with some amazing views. Look at it. Wow. Whoa, those 45 minutes passed by very quickly and the guys from the boat tour are waiting for us at the beach. Wow. There's our boat. Nice, here we go, on a boat tour, yeah! On the boat, the water is beautiful. We were with 11 people, but we dropped off the whole group basically. Now it's just the two of us. They're gonna see the turtles and we're gonna go to another island and we're also gonna go to an island where we can just rent a bicycle and, and cycle around. It's gonna be really nice. It's one of the most famous beaches, right? Yeah. So let's see what the day is gonna bring. I'm very excited, my hair is doing crazy things. Oh, gosh. So right now we're going to the spot where we can snorkel and see beautiful fish and turtles, hopefully. And after that we'll go to Ladik Island to explore that island on bikes. The waves are high, but our speed is even higher. <laughs> so relaxing on the boat is almost impossible. We will snorkel at two spots where there is a lot of coral and reef. We just arrived at the first spot. But I'm filming with my phone, so I cannot record on the water, unfortunately. That was crazy. We saw a turtle just now in the water, but unfortunately, when we went in the water to snorkel, the turtle wasn't there anymore, so we'll keep an eye out for the turtle. There, there must be more of them too here. This is their habitat, right? It was really nice. The reef seemed a bit dead. They had a problem with too hot water, but it's growing back slightly. I'm tired though. We swam so much. Oh gosh. So on to the next spot. Let's see what we're gonna see there. What I'm trying to say is that the coral is kind of dead because the temperature of the water was too high over the last years. We're on our way now to the second snorkeling spot right in front of another beautiful small island. Oh, the fish. Oh, the fish, yeah. So stupid, they don't have to... Hello. All right, Hello. we're ready. Thank you, Mama. While we were snorkeling and spotting amazing fish, our guides were waiting for us on the boat. Anyways, we saw a stingray, according to him. Yes! Which are deadly. This is a super nice resort place. $2,000 a night minimum. Well, but then you'll have something at least. Beautiful views and a reef right in front of your doorstep. 
We've seen some interesting fish and even spotted Dory, but Nemo was nowhere to be found, unfortunately. We are heading to Ladik now, where we have rental bikes waiting for us to explore that island while cycling. It's gonna be amazing, the en source de Jean beach is insane. It's a tropical day, the sun is shining, and for around 8 years as a person, we have just rented two bikes with which we're gonna explore the island. So let's hop on a bike and let's go. This is very relaxing, actually. We both have a mountain bike, amazing. And it's felt well maintained, even this small little island. I can't believe people live here, but they do, apparently. Looks really good, look at this emergency building, it's beautiful. Well, this hospital was a gift to the Seychelles by the United Emirates. That's why it looks so good, probably. First, let's check the map before we pay an entrance fee to a park we do not want to enter. Let's see. Okay, so you probably have to pay here to go into the national park. So we finally go to on saint Jean or something. You get these bracelets and then you are allowed to go in, which is 150 per person, which is almost 10 euros, more than 10 euros per person to go in this park and cycle all the way to the most famous beach. So that's what we're gonna do, the most beautiful beach on Seychelles. There we are going. This is one of the most famous beaches because all the influencers go there. Let's see how many people there are. This kid is even sitting on one. Oh my goodness. Look at how big these turtles are. Tortoise turtles are one of the biggest turtles in the world and they live on the Seychelles Islands. The local people take very good care of them. We continued our journey because it's literally an hour ride to the famous beach, but luckily there's a lot of trees to provide us with shade and there are vanilla farms here and Solo tried some of the leaves to see if they taste like vanilla. I got the juice from the leaf on my hand. It's not. It doesn't smell like vanilla at fruit, all. Right? I don't know how it works. Fruit? Yeah, vanilla fruit. <laughs> Could be. Well, too bad. Too bad. It's harvest time. Okay, well, let's go then. Let's go there. The leaves didn't taste nor smell like vanilla, but yeah, we're no experts, of course. We're almost arriving at the famous beach. So we parked our bikes and we're gonna walk. There's no bicycles beyond this point. The beaches we pass are already insanely beautiful. White sand and palm trees everywhere you look. It was kind of a hike to get to the beach. And on the way we came across many people already enjoying the sun. Look at this water. It is so blue. But we're not there yet, so we keep walking. Alright, we're here at the famous beach. We're gonna take some pictures and then we're just gonna enjoy the water because it is so beautiful. Wow. So this is the Ansur Stargent beach with the famous blue water and typical Seychelles rock formations. It's a hot day, so let's try the water. This water, guys, wow. These are the famous rocks, the most famous beach of Seychelles. And I must confess, this is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen in my life. It is beautiful. It's delicious. The water is so nice. It's like a giant jacuzzi. <laughs> so quiet here. Beautiful. So many rocks, yeah. There were not that many people to be honest, but I must confess we came in low season. It was August. Most people visit the Seychelles in October to February to escape the cold seasons at home. But yes, this beach was definitely worth cycling so long for. There was one beach shop where you could get nice cocktails. A bit overpriced though. But after spending a good two hours here swimming and walking around, we got a bit hungry and wanted to have lunch somewhere. We're walking back to the bikes now. We're already there actually. We're gonna cycle a little bit until we see a cute restaurant because we're both starving. <laughs> so we want to grab some food. Let's see what we what we find. Hopefully not only burgers and fries. Let's go. No single cloud to be seen. Amazing. 
I found a takeaway because apparently it's either very bougie restaurants or takeaway. But they have some seats outside where you can sit and eat the food. They love their burgers and fries here. And fish, also fresh fish, obviously, fresh catches. But we're going to Josh and Ray takeaway. Josh, Ray and Josh, whatever. They have almost a thousand reviews, 4.8. So that's really good. Let's see if it's really that good. We only had 150 in cash, so we couldn't eat there unfortunately because they didn't accept cards. So we are in Zerov, it's a takeaway restaurant right next to it. So we're gonna see if this is something nice. It looks good though, but it's a real restaurant, not really a takeaway. This is their local beer. The beer was nice and the food even better. I really recommend this place. Anyways, after lunch, we hopped on our bikes again and continued cycling. And now we stumbled across another huge turtle. Look at this, how cute. Hello. This island is beautiful. Write Preslin on your list because it's definitely worth visiting. The beaches are insane and the roads are well maintained. So you can easily cycle around the whole island in less than five hours, including a lunch break. I took a little dive, well, tried to do a little dive here in the water in the sea. But there are many big rocks there. And with every wave, the rocks literally got smashed against my feet and my, my legs. So it's like, okay, but it's a beautiful little beach. There's no one. It's so nice. I'm living the island life here and I'm already getting so tanned. You see my, my face? It's not really burnt. We're cycling back to the port to hop on a boat. We go back to our resort and then we're going to check out the pool. It's going to be amazing. I'm sure I already had a glimpse of the pool, but I also want to put my body in it, honestly. The weather was perfect, the food was great, and the views even better. Just an amazing experience overall. This is their fire station. Nice, look, the lights are broken. <laughs> We thought they were gonna drop us off again at our resort, but that didn't really go as expected. They just dropped us off here. And now this guy in the pink, he's gonna drive us to our hotel. It's around seven minutes to get to the hotel. Then I'm going straight to the pool probably, but not in the sun, cause I'm done with the sun for today, honestly. We're back guys, we're back. And I'm going there. Nice. <sighs> nice. To close the boat day off with a dive in the pool was amazing. Now it's dinner time and in this resort they serve a huge buffet, including a separate live barbecue section. Live music and people dancing in island clothes. What a great vibe. It is so dark here that you can literally see the galaxies in the sky. So we decided to go to the beach, grab some laying chairs and watch the stars. Thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any future videos that i'm going to upload please also hit the bell icon you'll get notifications about all the videos that i'm going to upload in the future for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you at the next video